as well. Yeah. Poison wasn't even around back then. He didn't have a backup character he could whip out for the tough matchups like he does now. Um, I can't see Poison coming out for this match, though, because no. I think that match is just atrocious. Awful, personally. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think it's really bad, too. I think a lot of Poison players really dislike Ibuki. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean if, if my Ibuki is beating, like, you know, Grandmaster Poisons, like, it doesn't... The matchups... With the bar, the V-Trigger 1 With the V-Trigger 1? Like, yeah. I'm not even playing top-tier Ibuki. Yeah, yeah, there's probably a problem with the matchup at that stage. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So, um, yeah, I think he's going to go Laura all the way, no matter how hard it will be. But he's got that experience, that those tiny little intricate things he knows through playing regularly against a really good Ibuki. I think they could, they, they could count on this one occasion. We'll yeah, see. In, in Shine, obviously, who is very close course, yeah. Uh, yeah, qualifying through any regional finals. He was one of the last uh, hopes to make it there. And yeah, I mean, as you mentioned, they've played before. Fujimura has taken it. Like, I feel like this is this one will be a nail-biter, you know? And there were some good moments when Fujimura took it. Yeah. I think it was 3-1, but it was like one of them close 3-1s. I yeah. remember that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it being very close at Evo. And, like, the cool thing about this matchup, too, is, as you mentioned, Adam is such a specialist. You know, both of them really are specialists with their characters, so it's always fun to watch the intricate little things about a matchup like this. One thing is the thunderclaps that come out, Ibuki has such good low threats, you know? So it's not like, you know, you can just throw those willy-nilly, but Adam is kind of known for having fantastic fireball spacing. Yeah, yeah. They're so good about him. Fujimura always seems to find a way to nullify that side of Adam's game. Yeah, I wonder, oh, wow, just commits to the sweep. Yeah. Unpunishable range. I wonder if he was looking for maybe like a low fireball or something like that, or a fireball so he check it with a low. Oh, shoulder. Oh, that's gonna hurt. No, it doesn't link. Gets a counter hit, though. Yeah, sending medium punch, crouching medium punch, counter hit combo. Very good. You can do the elbow off it as well. Oh, we tried to punish the Kuna reload. Didn't get it. Should have got a knockdown off that counter hit stab medium. I'm not sure why he didn't. Went for the fireball instead. Looking to activate now. It's Fujimura. Oh, too far! Yeah, big punish. We've seen Adam throw a lot of raw elbows so far. All right, negative activation. Still press the button, go be careful. Oh, oh what do you do? Have to respect it! Yeah, I think he was a, a little afraid of that there. He could have probably tried something in an animation. Oh, the delay back from the way you do it! Back to You oh. have to respect Fujimura. Don't load fireballs in front of me. Yeah, that was such a good reaction. As we mentioned, Ibuki has good checks on, on that. Yeah, and that's one of them, right? Obviously, he was prepared with the meter to react, but that's how Fujimura is. He just is ready. It's so hard to surprise him with anything. Well, he's forward thinking, man. It's the biggest, feel, biggest thing. Like, he's able to anticipate what his opponent's looking for. He's not just reacting raw. He knows what to anticipate at the right time. Yeah, that was one of those, all right, as soon as he throws a fireball, I'm going to critical heart. You know, it wasn't just like he just sat there and waited. And these are things that Adam does a lot when he's in that V-trigger mode that he's picked up on. Look at his stun racking up here. Oh, he's going to be done. First game is going to Fujimura in convincing fashion. Yeah, that kunai release into the Ryder always does a ton of damage. Hurts real bad. And, you know, that's one of those things where when you watch Fujimura, there's not a lot of mistakes you get to make. No. Because he will almost always capitalize in the maximum way. So it's really hard to really, like, sneak something by him. And I think that Laura sometimes gets by on that kind of a game. She does. Yeah. She really does. I feel like he can give a lot of the Japanese players trouble just because of the way they kind of disregard Laura. But Fujimura is one of the few where that's just not free. Yeah. You see even the back dash right there to reset it and, you know, get away from the fireball, get that crouch medium punch buffer. Fujimura is so good. That's crouch medium as well. Catches him out of the command. That's for the first time this set. Seijan goes in again. Oh, this is looking like complete domination. Nation. Will he get the meter to kill? No, he's not. Still going to be alive. Goes low. Oh, oh, it's up. What's it going to be? Oh, that was wow. the beginnings of something scary. But again, another call out where he knows what I don't want to do in V-Trigger. Look how relaxed he is as well. Yeah. That was not like a like panicky, ooh, I got lucky moment. That was definitely Fujimura. Like, yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, massive prediction. He took a big risk there. He knew he needed something large to come back. Wow. He's too ready, right? Yeah, the neutral is where I feel like Ibuki has a significant air chair, but when Elora gets going, that's when she can change it up. All right, this time with the Minecraft does reach. And the EX, Idol's best round so far. Can he make it count? No, he can't. He gets hit by the EX reversal. Jump back. Oh, my God. Side. He couldn't even chase her down. Guess for game. What's it going to be? Behind. He's dead. He's going to get stuck. Got release. Yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. Fujimura. In the blink of an eye, is up 2-0 here over Idol. Oh, man, brutal. Absolutely brutal. He's so good. He's so good. He's so good at this matchup specifically as well. Yeah. I've seen a lot of Ibuki struggling this matchup, and we all agree that Ibuki wins the matchup, but it just becomes... It's not even not for debate anymore when you see the way this guy plays in it. And this yeah. is the best lore in the world. There's no yeah. doubt about that, right? Up against the best Ibuki, and it just looks so uphill. Look at all those notes. Like, he's ready for it. He's just checking it all. All right, make sure at this range, standing medium punch, if he tries to dash up behind the fireball. That was so good, by the way. Like, every little instance, there's always a response. Fujimura says... Like, it's like he has, like, a checklist. 
It's like, okay, you're gonna try this, this. Oh, you have this, this. He has, always has the perfect answer to every situation. And when you play against someone like that, it, especially with a style like Idom, it just seems so uphill. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And Fujimori is one of those guys, I, I don't think anyone's discounted him, but when a lot of people have been doing their predictions, a lot of people haven't mentioned him. Just because of the guys that are in, in and around his bracket, he's one of those guys where if he turns up and he's in that mood, he could make this quite a boring tournament because we've seen him do this before. I remember watching Starfest and being quite bored at how much, how badly he was beating everyone. It was 3 0, 3 0, 3 0, 3 0. It's just like, I wasn't interested anymore. If that Fujimura turns up today, it could be a pretty quick outcome. Did, did you watch my stream? That's exactly what I said. Oh, really? Yeah, I was saying the same thing. I feel hey. like a lot of people are not looking at this guy, Fujimura. And I do I'm watch like, your stream, Satch, I believe it or not. No, I believe it. Great minds think about that. That's where you got all the random talk. I understand. <laughs> you got it from me. Learn it every day. All right, all right. Can he close it out? Oh, yes, sure can. Can. Yeah. All right. That's like the oldest trick in the book, the lore book. The right. run elbow. I always hold up after that. But all the lore is a start pressing medium punch off the yeah. line. Man, they mix it up. It's like the first hit clap from Mika into the EX command throw. It's like, oh man, I should have seen this going. EX sunset. Will is one of the best sequences we've seen Adam have, but. Oh, that was just ambiguous as well. Yeah, I don't even know if Adam knew where he was. Press buttons on my minus two. Stay in front. Good block. That was excellent. I don't know. He was just prepared. Reverse was trying to get his mo momentum here. He needs to round. He needs to try and get some momentum here. Slow down this uh, Fujimura steamroll. Jump on the B scale. Crush. Shot too many. Gets caught by the forward roundhouse. Thank you for that crouching media punch. If that landed, that was it. Oh, good jumping. Big damage incoming. Stays on the same side. Knock What's it going to be? Oh, he does it again. He's going to EX again. Kill. Yeah. Look at the optimization. Oh, my days. This guy. He throws the up shuriken and then releases all the kunai. He was ready for it no matter what. He had a million things on his mind and he was prepared. Fujimura now set point over Idom. Yeah, Idom probably didn't realize if he gets hit by an EX in that scenario, he's dead. And now it is close to the end here if he can't slow down his pressure. Nice use of the light kick. Face ass down for him. Stays in front this time. Big damage. One more bear. This could be the end. He's going to take the game. That's Laura. Max damage to kill here. That's yep. for Roundhouse. Ugh, ugh, ugh. We saw so many uppercuts from Fujimura, and Idom said, you won't do it again. Exactly. I don't believe. <laughs> he just pressed, 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 because he knows in that situation, sure, I could eat an uppercut, but I got enough health that this time it doesn't it matter doesn't nearly as much. Either. Yeah, so he's just like, okay, I'm going to press, and if you're wrong, you know, on this guess, it's over. Stand like kick, meaty combo into that crouching medium punch, and that'll do it. So Idom, round on the board, game on the board now. It's really like a 2-1 here. All right, he gets a counter hit to start as well. This time he does take the knockdown. That was a better chase down that we've oh, seen so far. Back. Like, a lot of the times when the claps come out, he just backdashes and then Ooh. checks Idom. That time, Idom was ready. Yeah, he's not interested at all in any of those fireball mix-ups. He just gets out of there, goes back to neutral where he dominates. Ooh. He gets hit by the crash medium, though. And again, he's getting caught every time by that mix-up. Backdash and gets reset, activates on block. Oh! Hoo -hoo. You're not minus two, I'm plus two. Do you see the little shimmy there on uh, Ibuki's neg negative frames? Yeah, walks back and says, yeah, go ahead and throw. I'll hit this crouching medium punch after. Who cares about the shuriken? Killed anyway. I don't looking fantastic here. Yeah, really turning this around, but still needs to close out this round to make it 2-2. We've seen these comebacks today already. Quite a few of them. Yeah, and with how dominant Fujimura has been, right? This is just the start. Oh, I thought it was a meaty stand like it wasn't yeah. a meaty. That's unfortunate. Safe check there from Fujimura. Just wanted to see. Maybe could have linked the DP there. Yeah, that always links. Surprisingly, not ready, but catches that. Oh, a drop. Yeah, Mr. Command Dash. Accident for Fujimura. Could cost him here. Oh, oh, and it's another one. Man, he has been so many of those EXs, and they paid off, so I don't blame him. One more B skill for Fujimura will build it. Yeah. Oh, what are you doing? This links. No reversal. Has to say this mix up. I don't go in. Oh, it's a normal. Ah! Oh, <laughs> so fast it was like the exact same thing we saw but in reverse right yeah good grief this kid is deadly when he gets going he looked helpless back against the wall didn't have an answer for Fujimura's approach at all suddenly from 2-0 down changes it up Idom now makes it two apiece with that to the last game stage yeah and it was so like little you know the way he chased behind the fireballs got so much better in the last couple of games and he really just caught on to kind of I think the tendencies of Fujimura on defense after, you know, the two games go, he's like, okay, I kind of see what he's going to do now. And he just was really prepared. I think that pressure was fantastic. And Idom cleaned it up real quick. Didn't give Fujimura a lot of time to even counter-adjust, I think.
Yeah, he's playing really well. He's just going for it every time as well, by the way. He's not really trying to bait out the EXDP. He's like, I'll eat the EXDP every time. Eventually, you're going to block. Eventually, you're going to get wrong. And it's working out well so far. Here we are in the final set, but Fujimura definitely has another gear to get into if he needs to. I'm sure it's oh. a That's a big punish. With no meter. Not. Oh, and he jumps like a mark grab. Gets a nice punish off it, too. Stan like it, and Stan jab interruption has been really working really well for Idol. Oh, I thought he had the media thing. I'm sending heavy punch, but look at oh this. Oh my days! Oh, he needed that. Yeah. Fujimura looks to bring this back now. Huge swing, he needs this mix up to land. Good block. No answer. Oh, what was that? He just got hit. 50 50 in the corner. Guess the game. Jab! Hit it. Oh, you cheeky bugger, you. He was holding on to that the whole time. What? <laughs> on the train here. Jumped up straight away, Sejo. I can't believe it. Yeah, I just believe that. I think he was expecting Idol to respect the uppercut, right? That was, you know, we've seen from Fujimura so many times already. Oh. Crush. Oh. All right, he will be able to kill him. A lot of damage, though. All the way to the corner as well. Gonna spend oh. all that bar. But Fujimura deadliest in these scenarios. And this is what I'm talking about. In the corner, her best setup. Activation. Could be instant open. Could be instant low. Goes behind. The block. The block from Idol. He got hit by the first part, but he was oh. ready. The jumping line. Final game, what? final round! <laughs> what a set! Just like that, Idom brought it all the way back. Jumpy X Kunai. We haven't seen that, that uh, too many times so far in the set. No, he's not been spamming it too much. Like that me, a big whiff punish on that forward roundhouse. First time in the set, that's been poorly spaced. By Fujimura gets opened up again. Back, back throw. throw. This is oh, it's gonna be <laughs> oh, my God! He was dead! He was dead! He's dead! He's dead! Just like that! Fujimura 3-2 from the brink of the... Wow! Wow! Who saw that coming? It was so incredible from Idom. Unbelievable turnaround. That is so difficult to recompose now. 0-2 in a set like that against one of the best players in the world and bring it all the way back. This guy keeps this character on the map time and time again. Just when you think he's hit a brick wall and he's got no answer, 2-0 down. He comes back, and you know what? I recall to the start of this match, Seja, when a particular individual pointed at the camera and told you, I'm expecting an upset. You didn't say I'm expecting an upset. Something you like that, yeah, you know. What did you say? You said... I basically said I was going to win, yeah? No, you, you didn't commit. Well, I did commit. You looked at the camera and you said, it's going to be a match, isn't it? That doesn't mean I think that I'm not going right, to right, What right. does that even you mean? You want to talk that mess? Yeah, all right, cool. I don't I got, understand. I got this. Can you guys zoom into my camera? Zoom into Is my camera. Is there an exact... Oh, let's right. see. He's got it. He was writing this during the match, by the way. In the last match, he's like, oh, and the comeback out of nowhere. But he was writing it on his phone. Yo, Renzo, $80, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! F1 called that, baby. Let's go. I'm out in the house, baby. Let's go. Mm, I know my stuff, Satch. I know my stuff. Come on. Give me credit. Come on, come on, give it to me, give it to me. Reluctantly, well, he well does. Played. Well played, yeah. Thank you. No, I'm impressed. Cheers, mate. Cheers. I believe you now. <laughs> I wasn't all in until you busted out the phone. I was like, okay, he's got, he's got me. He's got I'll me tell you what, I, oh, two, dot, I was, yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, you're I was like, getting oh. a PayPal account ready, boy. Yeah, you're like, well, it's a tough one here for Idom. You know, it's Fujimura, it's so good. <laughs> you're like, you're all ready for it and everything. Wait a minute. You didn't want to let your hope build up. I did it, though, yeah, I did Yeah, the 2-1. You're like, okay, 2-1. I'll, okay, I'll, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, bets aside, though, it's a great set. It's fantastic. It's a great set. One of, uh, probably one of the best we'll see all weekend. I'm that really glad so I got good. to be here for that. Yeah, that was incredible. Two character specialists playing at the highest level. It's always so fun to watch, especially like a, a really technical character like Ibuki and a really like unorthodox and like not seen very not much. Not seen like very Mora. much these days. Yeah, yeah very he, like, rare. I like that you said he puts that character on the map because you really don't see her that much. No, She's not no. like the force we saw many years ago. Like he really has to put in work to win with that character. And he did exactly that in that set. Great play from Adam. He stays in winners. Fujimura drops in losers, which just goes to epitomize again how freaking stacked that losers bracket is looking. Yeah. Oh my days. It's incredible. Right yeah. now.